back to nothing God. We're so glad that you can join us today. In today's video, we are all in America celebrating the Super Bowl. And I thought it would be a very good day to talk about the things that a person really does need in order to win. Some of it is a little different than we think. I want to point out some of the important characteristics and traits that you really do need to have to win in life. While he is having his grooming session, we'll talk about things. All of you thinking about the football teams. A lot of us just get to enjoy all of the hard effort that they've made this whole year to get where they've gotten. For the real athletes and the teams who've gotten to this point, it has been a sincere challenge and it takes a winning attitude in order to accomplish what they have. So one of the first things that you need is the right mindset. If you don't have a positive mindset, then you've lost before you've even begun. And having a winning positive mindset can make a situation that would seem like a losing situation into a, a wonderful winning situation. And part of that has to do with regarding the things that seem to stand in your way as challenges instead of as complete blocks. And instead of giving up, those football players, they don't go give up. Sometimes they might have something happen, but it doesn't make them stop. They may take a pause, they may take a rest, they may take a break, but they don't give up. You choose not to give up. You also choose to learn from your failures instead of to all again um, to let them make you give up. Not giving up is really an important trait. A winning mindset needs that quality. That includes relationships and these little guys what if they just gave up? They would pass away. Out in nature, these little guys go out and hunt. They've got to have the right mindset too. They've got to have a mindset of being able to successfully pursue and even use strategy in order to gain what they need. So another piece of winning is in having good strategy. You guys have heard me say this before, but you learn how to work smart and not just to work hard. Sometimes, oh yes, you work hard. Those football players have worked very hard. But they work smart. They use strategy. They use intelligence. They don't just go hunga bunga around and thunk into cave walls. <laughs> they use strategy. Those dudes <laughs> that are there as linemen, for example, they hunker down and they look for what's going on with the ball. They know the types of possible maneuvers that the other side might make and they plan accordingly. They use strategy. For winning in life, these little guys absolutely must also have a brain in there <laughs> and the right mindset. Winning sometimes means weighing out options and letting go of the things that no longer serve us and embracing the new things that do ser serve us. These little guys, if they had a hunting strategy that wasn't getting them what they needed, they'd have to stop and change that. Once again, it doesn't mean they'd give up, but they'd change strategy. So a winning attitude and a winning mindset and being able to win in life is also a matter of knowing how to adjust to the parameters and to the current conditions instead of being so attached to whatever original idea or plan that you thought it's through the way that you thought your goal needed to go to proceed in order to be accomplished a wise person is also flexible and is also open to whatever they need to re-strategize to reorient they're not stuck in arrogance or anything like that there were some football player who thought that he had the perfect strategy the other players would predict them after a while if that person was attached and kept doing the same thing, even though the conditions changed. So they've got to be willing to go with the flow and to not have such a hardened mindset and such a hardened way of wanting things to work that they aren't flexible when they need to be. A person with a winning attitude adjusts to life as needs be, and they can still gain their goal, but sometimes the way, the route that that goes about may be different. 
yes, I thought that would be a wonderful thing to share with all of you on this happy, happy day here in America with American football. We've got the Rams and the Buccaneers. We're getting ready for it. And so are they. While we're sitting here having our popcorn, they're strategizing, looking at what the other team might be plotting, looking at the conditions of their environment, having a winning mentality and a positive attitude, not giving up, but plotting forward. Well, thank you all so much for letting me share this with you guys today. If you like the content of our video, don't forget to take those paws and paw the like button. You can paw the subscription button and you can paw the notification bells so that you can see all of Nuffy Cat's videos. Well, thank you all so very much and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.